what do you lose with Brad's uh, absence in, in the locker room and on the field? Well, what we don't. I mean, uh, <laughs> personality, leadership, good character, uh, uh, good football, good goalkeeper, I mean, many things. Uh, so it's, it's obviously, as all the other injuries, it's tough. Uh, but he's a captain, he's, he's the leader, and, and obviously we're going to miss him on the field, but I'm sure off the field, once he's back from surgery, he will be loud as always in the locker room and on the training ground, so I know we won't miss him on that side, but obviously on the field, uh, we're gonna, we're, we won't have him. But again, as, as the mantra that we've been using since the very beginning, next man up, and now Bobby is going to take care of that, and I'm sure he's going to do fine. Are you all discussing signing another goalkeeper? Yeah, we're, we're in talks, but obviously it's just uh, too short of notice, so we will see we're evaluating possibilities, and I know they always do a good job at, at bringing good uh, possibilities, and we will see what is available. Who will replace Brad as captain? We'll see. We'll see. That's a work in progress. We have to talk to some of them and all that. But I mean, uh, sometimes the bracelet is just that, and sometimes they know who's leader, who who leads by example, who's more loud. So, so at the end of the day, it will be someone for sure, and we will see who's that that right pe right person. What does Bobby bring uh, that is going to help y'all? I think he's an experienced goalkeeper and he's going to bring that, he's going to bring his experience. I think he's someone that is solid in his game. He has so many games uh, in his pocket in this league, so he knows the league. He's going to bring experience and leadership, maybe different type of leadership, but, but at the same time he's someone with a lot of experience that are going to help the back four and, and eventually the whole team. Have you talked with Brad? Yeah, of course. Um, Bobby said he was in good spirits, was that how you found him also? Yeah, yeah, I think he's... He's a very mature person. He knows part of the game. Obviously, sad what happened, but again, he's very positive and he's, he's I agree, he's in good spirits. Is he, did he, has he said, is he going to try to come back? For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, I mean, the same with Ozzy, age, tough injury. Yeah. You know, I think he's got a year left on his contract or something. Too. Yeah. I think that's it. I mean, that I don't know, but I'm sure they're tough competitors. That's what they made it until this stage of their careers and, and I'm sure both they will try to retire on the field and not off the field. How did Emerson look uh, on Saturday and uh, do you expect to try to give him some more minutes on Wednesday to get him fresh? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm trying to, to get the right path for him and see how he entered up the game, physically what he can produce on the soccer side, how is he feeling in that position, understanding the tactics, but I don't want him to feel rushed. It was a big, big period of time, a long period of time for him to just come back and, and just have some minutes here and there, and we will see where he's at. Uh, we'll do more evaluation tomorrow, and we'll see if he's for starting for some minutes, so we'll see. Are you all considering bringing up any two players? For the game on Wednesday, any like uh, Noah Cobb or, or those oh, guys? Yeah. yeah, I mean they're training with us, and we have we want to see uh, that. Obviously, we have two less spots on the bench for this tournament, so we have to evaluate that. and We'll take the decision tomorrow. And there's still the international rule for this, is it? Right? It's up one. It's not six. Okay. We talked to you after the game. Obviously, you were devastated. The players we talked to were, were pretty heartbroken about Brad. What was the mood like today? Um, just trying to bounce back from that. No, it's, it's better. I can say it's better. It takes time to process a little bit those, those notice and especially, you know, the sour uh, taste in the mouth after what happened to Brad. It's, it's tough to recover from that immediately, right? So, so it took a time. Uh, I think uh, looking at uh, Brad in good spirits, uh, smiling, and in the locker room, he was there this morning. He was full of jokes and, you know, uh, He's, he's fine mentally, so he's again, he's a fantastic leader. So that helps with the mood of the, of the team. What are the challenges of preparing for a game like you have against Chattanooga, where it's a, a team in a, you know, a lower division? Um, how, how do you keep the team sharp uh, to be able to perform in that kind of setting? No, I mean, uh, they are here for a reason. For me, uh, you have to take this very seriously. It can be as easy or as hard as we want. And we have to take it as any other opponent, uh, the best of their abilities. They're a tough team also. They have, they have some good wingers. They play a, a, probably a different style that we have seen this year. So it's going to be a different challenge in terms of tactics. Uh, they're a team that have uh, a lot of physicality, especially up front. They have some fast uh, wingers, so we need to, to take care of that. We've been doing the same process as always. My assistants are taking this very seriously, so no reason why the players uh, doesn't take this. They don't take uh, this uh, game very seriously.
Is Justin Garces going to be the backup goalkeeper for him? Yeah, as far as I know, I mean, we're still on the processes and all that, but as far as I know, yes. Bobby said he's not going to try to beat Brad, but who do you kind of look to to fill that leadership void, whether it's Bobby or somebody else? Well, I mean, it has to be many. I mean, you cannot never expect the same type of personality with someone else. It's going to be a different type of leadership, different type of uh, vibe, probably. But I mean, they're going to, they all, they all are going to try to do their best to, to support the team and the experienced players. They're going to try to bring that experience within them. Uh, so I don't expect someone to re replace exactly what Brad brings to the team. But uh, with some combination of different factors, they're going to come with something and they have to sort it out. I mean, that, that doesn't worry me uh, that much. I think the team is strong mentally. Uh, he's with the team full time. He's with them. Uh, he's supporting them. And so I think the team is going to be OK. Is there anyone you as manager kind of lean on just on the field to, to be able to be that vocal leader or someone to kind of help out with that part of it? Well, not, not at the same level, so that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, Brad has a very specific type of leadership, very positive. So we have, we have a few different types of leaders within the team, and we try to use them all as, po as much as possible. And I think they're going to figure it out, and, and that part doesn't, doesn't worry me that much. Uh, Joseph is back. Um, how did that uh, procedure go, and is the timeline the same for his return? Yeah, so far it's the same. Uh, he's back. He's also in good spirits, so that's good. Uh, and we're we're just patiently waiting for for them to come back. With regards to Emerson, uh, I mean, I know you're just you've been seeing him in training and everything like that, but he hasn't really. We haven't we haven't seen him implemented into your um, you know your management in a game situation. Um, what is does he offer? Maybe a little bit more, especially in the final third, in terms of just being a a tidy creator in the attack that's willing to make those kind of, um, you know, th those those opportunities that could create goals for you? Yes, I think, I don't know, I have very good midfielders, very different type of midfielders as well, so whether he's more of an 8 or a 10, at times depends on the game, uh, he's just a good footballer, he's a very good footballer, and I mean, good footballers can, can play in any position, basically, in any role. Now, one of his main characteristics is, yes, is the way he can progress the ball uh, very in a very clean way. Uh, very smooth way uh, through the thirds, so he's someone that can receive and turn very easily and then he can progress the ball forward. Whether it's in the middle third, you know, balancing the midfield or it's in the final third, breaking those lines, playing those through passes similar to Thiago. I mean, someone very capable of doing that and we're just waiting for him to be completely uh, fit, not just physically, but also on the soccer side. Just a few more. Go ahead, Doug. Do, do you have any concerns about these injuries and, and are y'all looking at maybe trying to make some changes to pre-game routines and pre-training routines and stretching and, and stuff like that or is this just bad luck? Yeah, I mean we reflect on all of that in a daily basis so it's not something like just because of, of the unfortunate injuries we are taking looking more in depth I think we have a pretty good sports science department we rely on them because they are very good they are a, a, they, they, they do their jobs at a very high standard and obviously we reflect a little bit on that but I think sometimes this happens right and, and those type of injuries doesn't reflect anything of what we have changed we haven't changed that much and especially for the goalkeepers we've been following the same routine since probably five six years we, we review all that so it's nothing there but obviously I mean we still have to check and we did and I think we have to continue with the same process we have in place we are believing a lot in this process and I think we're going to do fine. Uh, okay. Coach last week you said the culture was your greatest accomplishment so far here at Atlanta United. How has the culture you created helped the team get through these injuries to a lot of key guys? Well, uh, first of all, I wouldn't say it's, it's my culture or anything like that. I mean, I just, I just came here trying to, you know, bring the best of all the people that works here, that is uh, part of the team, and is them who bring the culture, is them with their be behaviors every day who bring the culture. So I was very pleased with uh, what um, 
Miles said at the end of the last uh, uh, press conference after the game, he talked about the family. He said like uh, uh, it's harder to take those because we feel like a family, and that's how I, I I think we are all looking at the team, at the club. It's like a big family, and when someone goes down in this big family, it hurts. But at the same time, we we are all here to support each other. So whether it's us. You know who are healthy and we are supporting the guys are injured but also the injured players are here to support the others and they are here every day in the in the training uh, uh, ground and being loud and talking to them sharing experiences talking about the game so it's, it's a, a very good environment down here so i just hope that this helps with you know dealing with this process of, of losing a couple of players uh, due to these injuries okay Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Gracias. How tough will it be to replace Guzan's leadership and, and performance? Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's replacing him. He brings so much to the club. Um, club captain. Uh, you know, obviously he's had an unbelievable career. So, you know, I'm I'm not Brad, and I'm not looking um, to be him. I'm myself, and you know, uh, really unlucky f for him and for the club that this happened. And, but unfortunately, we have to move forward. And um, you know, for me, I'm just trying to be who I am and bring the things that I do well to the team. And just you talked about this before, but just as a refresher, talk about some of the things that you do well. Yeah, I think uh, you know, I try to communicate as much as possible. Um, with people in front of me try to put out dangerous situations when possible. Um, you know, I think I'm fairly aggressive off my line. Try to close things and um, just try to pick up good spots and and help the team as much as possible. Have you got to speak to Brad? Yeah, he was around today. Um, and he's in good spirits, all things considered, and um, always has a ton of energy, so it was good to see him. Bobby, I'm Joe Patrick with 99 The Game, 30 South Soccer. Thanks, um, just what was it like going out on the field after, after that injury happened? Obviously, it's a pretty devastating one. I think all the fans kind of knew how important he is and how big of an injury that was. What was it like that for you to be the guy going out there replacing him? Yeah, it's a, that's a tough situation. I mean, obviously, you feel for Brad in that moment, and um, you know, it's it's a weird one coming on there. I've I've been in that situation before where it's been a major injury, and then I had to come on. So, um, unfortunately, it's something that I've seen before, but you don't ever really get used to it. And um, difficult, but you know, just got to get on with it. You're obviously a very experienced keeper in MLS and you know domestic leagues here. Um, how can you kind of leverage that experience uh, as best you can during this time? Yeah, I mean, I've this is year 14 for me. I've been around the block, so um, you know I've been in this exact situation before, and I've played a lot of games. So um, you know, rely on that experience. And at the end of the day, it's it's a soccer game. So I've been doing it for a while, and just continue to do it. Brad was such a local leader. I mean with media, but also, you know, we'd hear him out here at training, you know, screaming his head off. Um, is, is there, do you feel some kind of onus to have to, like, take that up as well from, from losing him, or are there other players on the team that can kind of make up that kind of communication? Um, well, like I said, I'm not trying to replace Brad. I don't think he's someone that can be replaced at the club. Um, but, uh, you know, me personally, I also am very vocal and try to um, use my voice to help him in as many situations as possible. So. Um, I don't like I said. I don't think there's any replacing him. He's a, such an integral big, integral big piece of this club. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to try to be myself and be as vocal as possible. Uh, Bobby Gonzalo often says the goalkeeper is the first attacker under his team. How do you feel like your game kind of helps set up that Lady United's attack? Yeah, I mean, I think it's something that we train a lot, um, playing out from the back and. Um, you know, Gonzalo gives us a very clear picture of the things he wants us to do. So I think as goalkeepers, it makes it, you know, easy for us to understand the options that we have and what areas he wants us to play into. So um, I think that's something that should continue um, with any goalkeeper that, that plays is uh, the idea and the picture are pretty clear. So um, I think it's, you know, fairly straightforward. How, how has the team responded to it today, just from your perspective? You mentioned you talked to Brad, and he seemed like he was in good spirits. But how was how, how just the overall feeling um, today after kind of that big loss? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's been a few big injuries in a short period of time here for us. So, um, you know, Gonzalo keeps on saying, you know, next guy up. And um, that's why we have depth in our squad and uh, a squad of players. And unfortunately, we have to just continue moving forward. and. Um, 
look towards Wednesday and, and try to get into the next round of the Open Cup. Sorry we got through a little bit later. You might have said this, but what do you bring uh, to that position, uh, I guess, kind of where we'll go then? Yeah, um, I think you said it. I'm trying to use my voice as much as possible and um, help the people in front of me pick up better spots and, um, you know, aggressive and uh, rely on my shot stopping and um, try to pick up good spots and um, just offensive mind to try to be. What do you think this team does as far as the leadership going? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, Brad will still be around here. I think the guys that are injured, Ozzy, all these guys are, you know, they'll still be around. So their leadership doesn't automatically disappear. They'll still be a big, a big part of what we're doing here and a big voice. Um, but, you know, guys got to step up and um, people that maybe are a little bit uncomfortable talking need to, to open their voices and, and be heard. I think on this team, we have some, it's a younger team, but we have some good experience with players that are vocal. So um, I'm not too worried about that. As far as on the field, is that something that you're going to try to kind of maybe put yourself even more out of your comfort zone to kind of be more of that leadership voice? I mean, that's something that's kind of always come naturally to me. I'm a pretty loud person when I'm on the field, and um, it's not something that I've ever shied away from. So, um, you know, I'm not I'm not going to shy away from that now. Has Brad said if he's going to try to come back? Not a conversation I've had with him. Yeah, thanks, Bobby. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, questions for Emerson. How did it feel to finally get to do that? Uh, I felt amazing, uh, especially to do it in, at home in front of the crowd. It was an amazing feeling, a uh, long journey for me, but uh, it was all worth it for sure. Pineda kept saying we would ask every week about you, and he kept saying, getting them ready, getting them ready, getting them ready. Had you been ready for a while and just waiting, or was that finally ready? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was a lot of training, but I, I needed it. You know, I needed to get sharp. Um, you know, the, the knee uh, felt good most of the time. There was obviously some sore days here and there, so um, it was really the, just the consistency I needed. And um, I feel like I've kind of got better each week as I've uh, gone on, so um, I think it was probably the right time for sure. Looking back on how you played, is there anything that you felt you are missing that you need to kind of work on in these next appearances? Uh, not really. I mean, it was uh, kind of a short amount of time on the field. It was really just about getting out there for me and uh, trying to help the team the best I could. Um, you know, it was a weird scenario as well, just <laughs> trying to trying to score a goal um, late on. But, but, you know, I think it was uh, huge for me, just the huge confidence boost uh, to know that I'm actually on the field now and just ready, for, ready to play minutes. With Brad's injury, what do you all lose uh, in the locker room and leadership from him? Uh, it's a huge loss. I mean, uh, he's obviously been a leader here for many years, and um, it was just sad to see him go down and um, all of us feel for him. But we'll be right behind him, and, you know, uh, I'm sure he'll be in all the time uh, knowing Brad, so he'll, he'll be helping us throughout throughout the year behind the scenes. But uh, we can't wait till he comes back. And have you and Pineda talked about what position you're going to play uh, going forward, if it's going to be like an attacking midfielder or central midfielder, because, you, you know, you moved mm -hmm. up and down the spine. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's kind of open to uh, trying me out in different roles, I think. Um, you know, we, we sometimes switch up formations, things like that also, so it kind of depends on the situation. Um, you know, I, I kind of like to think of myself, I can play multiple positions and things like that, so uh, there's nothing definite, and I know I have to work hard to get in the team, so. Obviously so long out after a big injury like that. Were there any thoughts when you went out on the field about the knee, about how it was going to hold up or how your body was just going to hold up being out there? Yeah, I mean, thankfully not. Um, <laughs> you know, I've been training enough to be confident in it, and I think that was the big thing, to feel confident going into into a game scenario. So um, thankfully I've had the training behind me. I've uh, been through, like, the rough patches of uh, when it's been sore, um, you know, weeks ago, and now it now feels good every day. So uh, that's a big bonus for me. I was curious to see in Joseph's kind of struggles with his knee affected you at all in that dribble? Uh, not necessarily, no. It's, um, you know, you never want to see, uh, you know, further complications uh, down the road with, with any player. Um, you know, his scenario um, is just a little different. Um, he, had, he has to go uh, kind of a different way right now and be a little bit more patient, I guess, with his. Um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm just starting out. Everything feels great. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll encounter, uh, you know, if anything does happen, we'll encounter it when it does. But for now, it feels great. And you didn't uh, require any follow-up surgeries like Joseph did after? No, just the one surgery just for me. One. So yeah, <laughs> thankful for that, yeah. It must be, you talk about it being a little bit awkward. I mean, I imagine for you personally, just, you know, 
big moment for you and your career mm-hmm. coming back from this injury yep. while the club is dealing with this devastating injury to Brad as yeah. well as with Ozzy and everything. Yeah. Just what? Is, how is the mood of the team? Um, you know, especially coming in today. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's weird because uh, you know we've had you know a number of big injuries this year for whatever reason and. Um, you know, it's it's more tough just to know, you, you know the guys, you know how hard they work every day, and uh, just the fact that you know they're not going to be around and, and out in the field uh, with you is uh, heartbreaking. So, you know, me having gone through it, um, I try to give the, them pointers as much as I can, but uh, it's tough for sure. I've got yeah. a guy with that good a resume, he's got some experience. You're not putting a rookie back there either. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Tell me about that, having yeah. that guy step in that's got a lot of, you know, match experience. Yeah, I mean, it's a. Uh, it's a big loss and especially like you said with experience i mean um it's it's tough it's like ozzy and brad they've played a number of games in mls obviously brad uh, in europe as well and um you know they bring a certain level of uh confidence to the back line the midfield and uh you know it's going to take guys stepping up and and almost uh helping out in that role of leadership and we have a young team but i think many guys can do it what what is bobby, bobby having you know the experience yeah, yeah, Bobby definitely has experience, and uh, you know he's he's loud on the field. I mean, he's a goalie; they're all loud, so uh, he's out there yelling at everyone. And uh, yeah, I'm sure he'll fit in that role very easily. The team's having trouble scoring. How mm-hmm. can you help the team score? <laughs> yeah, I mean uh, that's that's something we've we've looked at, and uh, you know it's you know you always want to score goals. I think we had you know way too many chances not to score last game and uh, it was just a really unfortunate day I think and uh, you know the good thing is we're creating chances Um, it's really just about having that clinical clinical finish and I think for me I'm I'm kind of box to box I I like to think so um, you know I won't won't be around the uh, goal all the time but I think when I do I you know I need to be clinical. I ask this with as much respect to the the players who have been hurt as possible but um is it like motivating for you at all to like, when you see these guys go down to know that mm-hmm. you're coming back and you have an opportunity to, to help the team while you know they're missing some of these pieces? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really like to look at it that way just because uh, you never want to see people injured and you know, um, especially those long-term ones, they're they're tough and uh, you know. But for me, it's uh, you know really just about getting fit, getting the minutes in, and uh, and trying to you know contribute when I can, um, you know, and, and seize opportunities for sure. Anything else for Emerson? All good? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.